of them all like this. So. What was the initial thing? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it wasn't my idea. No. no. Um, <laughs> Jim Cooper, who was uh, the person I wrote it with, um, is American, and he was in Los Angeles, and, um, and, and it got in the press. This was based on a true story. Um, Mike Peters, um, who was in a band called The Alarm, previously known as the Toilets, uh, <laughs> and when I was a kid, and, 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 and uh, uh, it's a long story, I'll try and cut it short. What, what happened is that Jim found out, read an article that um, this, the alarm had uh, kind of duped the press by pretending to, uh, to be these four young punks, and, uh, and, it, and it turned out that, um, <clears throat> you know, yeah. So that to do. And so he wanted to write a story about it. So they made a list. I was at Disney at the time, they made a list of directors for it. And um, I had a punky hairdo, and so they just put me on the list. <laughs> and then um, and I was called in, and, um, and Mike Peters was also there, uh, who, was, who was the fellow from the alarm. And, um, and, and what they didn't know, what Jim Cooper and John H. Williams, the original producer, didn't know was that. Uh, they were from my hometown, the alarm, and they, they were the toilets, and the, they managed my band, the fractures. And um, I went out with the bass player, so uh, that's how I got the job. And um, <laughs> and then we wrote the script. Uh, so I can't I can't really claim any of it, really. Um, so that that was the inspiration. But once I was lucky, what happened is we couldn't get the money for it because it was kind of. Um, uh, uh, it was out of fashion at the time um, to do an ensemble kind of film, um, too many characters. Uh, so we, we nearly got it made, and then we didn't. And I asked John Williams if I could just run with it. And uh, so he kindly let me do that. And, uh, and so we did that in our hometown and, and got together everybody. Um, and, and, and that's what happened. And Woo! Lots of other things, but who were cast first? I mean, how did you find what that? What you think? Perry was the best lines. Per Perry, I, I, I spoke to Perry, like, I've known Perry since he was 19. Um, yes. and uh, Not long. <laughs> <laughs> and I really wanted That's Perry to be in it. And we were in St. Nancy together we were. years and years ago, and uh, I really wanted Perry to be in it. And, um, and I'm very lucky for me, he said yes. And and then once Perry was in, um, I didn't even know they were friends, but I, I wanted Steve Diggle, who was in the Buzzcocks, to be um, Johnny Jones. And uh, I, I kind of hung out with him, and I thought, well, I'm not sh I mean, I hope this isn't anything like that. But Steve, I actually said it to him. But I didn't think that, you know, he, he would be quite right for it, at, you know, to hold the film. But then I was looking at him, I thought, Phil Daniels looks like Steve Diggle. Why don't I ring <laughs> Phil Daniels up? So um, rang Phil Daniels up and mentioned it to Perry, and Perry said, "Oh, that's my best mate." You know, so, um, so that was a bit of luck. And James, I knew when he was twelve, and his dad, and uh, and and uh, so I hadn't seen James since he was twelve. But I offered him the job. I didn't know what he looked like. <laughs> and he came to set. I didn't know what he looked like. And and Jamie uh, found. I don't know if you know this, but I found you on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so it was just what was really good is we had such little money that that formed the film and that that's what gave it. You know, if you like its authenticity because we didn't have any money. You know, so. uh, Woo! Gosh. One last question, then I'll open it to the audience. Uh, uh, I loved the outtakes when you when you were kind of auditioning for the group. Uh, how many of those ones you had? I mean, uh, you had a low budget, so I mean, how do you cast the single shot? Oh, uh, uh, um, uh, I always wanted like Milos Forman in a in a in a in a film like really when he was back home. He he did that, and I, and I took that idea. From him, we didn't tell the. We'd already cast it, and the poor. We didn't say they were auditioning, but we didn't say anything to them as they came in. And um, the people, apart from the actors, they they knew, but everyone else was just. They thought they were auditioning, so it's quite cruel. Um, <laughs> we we didn't say that, but they presumed 
it, and they were just waiting for our approval, and we just like, yeah, tortured them. It was cool. not good, but <laughs> me copied it from Miosh on the... That had charm and cow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, questions from the audience, please. Woo! That's yeah. good. <laughs> okay, there, at the back. Do the people in the auditions know they're in a film? Yeah. Um, a lot of them are my friends from back home. <laughs> so literally on the day of the job, it was like, hey, um, I'm doing a film, do you want to come and be in it? Um, do you want to come and audition? You're like, yeah, okay. And then it was so terrible because one of my mates came out and was like, that was the worst day of my life. Because <laughs> he came out and he said, Phil Daniels said he was awful. <laughs> Bless him, yeah. So none of them knew. And oh God, yeah, but now they do. I bet them all know. I was like, yeah, Phil, you look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they enjoyed it. It's really good. Anybody? Fantastic film. Hey! hey. Did you go on general release or? March the 11th. March the 11th. Yeah. <clears throat> What's happening in the soundtrack? Uh, that's out as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've seen that's Mike beat. Yeah. He done everything. Yeah. 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 It was a really. It was very much a, a local, you know, thing. I mean, Perry. Perry. Perry and Jamie and Keith and Phil came down and Julia Ford, um, but everybody else was local and, uh, and James, um, but everybody else was local and uh, I think that was the most thrilling thing was to, uh, for, well not for the poor actors who were on the receiving end, like there's some horrible stories but I don't want to tell them, Perry, talk about the hotel maybe. <laughs> the hotel was very nice. It was a, like a manor house, but they, because it was such a low budget, they were doing us a, a lovely deal. They wanted us to move every two days, yes. so it's like musical rooms. <laughs> and after about a, a week of this, I said, "No, I'm not moving. Anymore. I can't. I'm too tired. I can't." So I stayed where I was. You know, yeah. That's about it, really. <laughs> And you had a fridge in your room as well, didn't you? you yeah, didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I had a fridge that I didn't want to move because it had the things that were all cold. <laughs> <laughs> and Jamie wrote his own songs. Um, Brilliantly, I just say, like, you know, we make up a song and you, and you just... Just copy Bob Dylan. <laughs> over there. I just tried to copy Bob Dylan. Just woke up. And we, I'd sit there trying to play guitar in, in a, like this little cottage and there'd be like a, like a peacock on the roof. Not a bad person to copy. It's, it's not, not a bad person to copy, is it? But yeah. Never really written a song before. Yeah, can I just say to Jamie, don't feel bad about ripping off Bob Dylan, because Mike Peters really ripped off the Saints intro for I'm Stranded for that main song. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, the title, why, um, Vinyl, is that like retro or how is that? Yeah, yeah I yeah. guess so. You know, I mean, the, uh, drain pipe, we, we couldn't, I mean, I, this is like a bit of a thing, we couldn't afford, um, Jamie was meant to wear vinyl drain pipes and you know and also the old vinyl records so but we couldn't think of a better title so we we just stayed with that so there you are then that's it then <laughs> thank you for coming